an avalanche of sexual assault allegations. When I first arrived to LA, I didn't know what to do at all. I had no friends, I didn't know where to go, so I just kind of took it upon myself to learn things. Of course, um, I went on Craigslist. For a, uh, saying an independent film, uh, they needed a woman in my age range, so I submitted my headshot and resume. I got a call to come in, and when I came to the casting, it was in an apartment building. I wanted to know if I could meet with him later on that evening. Uh, around 7, 7.30, which was basically after closing. It always seemed to be a dinner and drinks thing. And you know, I was like 25 at the time, so I was like, okay, well, I don't know what standard protocol is. The whole dinner was not based anything on my project, and I kept trying to steer it into that direction. And he opened the door and turned off the light, turned around and locked the door, started pushing me toward the bedroom. And I said, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? So I go and shove him off me. And he said, you know you want to do this. The next thing I knew, I was slammed up against a table. I could tell that he had an erection because I could feel it. <sighs> he raped me. Back in 1992, I was a sergeant in charge of the gang special investigations unit for the city of Glendale. I got involved with the Burbank Police Department in about 1992. Talon Angel was arrested for sexual assault. And they were looking to use my one of my detectives undercover to try and assist their investigation. Uh, apparently there had been several victims um, that stated he, they were uh, sexually either harassed or assaulted by him. The boss or the employer now says, makes a pass at you and has, um, has sex with you uh, against your will. So then it becomes, now it becomes a sexual assault. And sexual assault includes sexual battery, rape, uh, forcible uh, sexual penetration, sodomy, oral sex, all of that stuff. Those are all crimes. From Wallace K to Harvey Weinstein, all these sexual assault victims could have been possibly prevented if the Wallace K case wasn't swept underneath the carpet.